Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Your boy Justin, once again. Today we're gonna be going over the last two trades that we took. Uh, it was Wednesday and it was Tuesday. So Tuesday and Wednesday, we traded Euro NZD both days. I don't know what it is about Euro NZDs, but we've been <laughs> clapping Euro NZDs cheeks. I ain't gonna lie, right? We bought it one day, we sold it the next day. What I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and hop on the charts, show you guys the two ideas from start to finish, and then also show you guys the, the results, right? So really quickly, before we kind of get into everything, I know there's been a few of you in the comments that are like, oh, no proof. Oh, no this, no that. Guys, if you easily simply go to the Instagram page, you can see everything. But just since there is some trolls that are on our videos, I have no problem sharing this as well. So this is Euro NZD, the last two days. These are all the trades we've taken. These are the profits of those trades. These are the Euro NZD trades specifically. Just so, just so you can see, this is a real account as well. Real account, right? So with that being said, in regards to it, let's continue on with our video, right? So let's go have, head back on the charts. All right, so these were the two ideas, right? These are ideas, both of these were based off of our London breakout strategy, right? The London breakout strategy is going crazy. Everyone loves it. The Discord's going crazy. Somewhere in this video, I'm gonna put the Discord group and you guys can see the results um, of all the people uh, absolutely killing it. Let's break down how we got to this point. Let's do start to finish. So when it comes down to it, I'm gonna break this down in the simplest, simplest of ways to you guys. Let's start off with the first trade. The first trade is Euro NZD. We went long on Euro NZD first. The first things first is we looked at the overall higher time frame structure. The higher time frame structure showed me that we we're trading in between this, this relative low, and this was the new high, right? Now, when it came down to it, there's a few key things that we wanna factor in. What I'm gonna do just for the sake of our video is I'm going to pull up a bl blank chart of Euro NZD, and I'm gonna start from zero to finish. And we'll go back to the chart that's already pretty well marked out. All right, so first things first, this was our first trade, right? So let's talk about this. On the higher time frame, what we noticed is we were trading in a very specific range, right? We were trading from this low to this new high. When we were trading from this low to this new high, what we also noticed that happened was that we had certain levels of structure break in the sense of a continuation break of structure, right? Continuation break of structure means that we broke through these previous weak highs, right? We're in an uptrend, there's weak highs, and then we have strong lows, right? So factor this in. When we were trading this specific move, Price was relatively somewhere over here in this range. We understood what was going on. We understood the assignment, right? We saw that there was divergence on this move to go lower. So that gave us the indication that, hey, price should pull back into a very deep level in the FIB, a very discounted level in the FIB to give us a discount area to buy from and then go higher, right? That was our mindset off of the higher time frame. Now, what we do is we take a higher time frame bias and we scale it down to a lower time frame entry model, right? So what we did, and this is stuff that I teach very in depth in our trades to our strategies uh, discord, what we did is we started focusing in on what made sense and what did not, right? So first things first is we identified our Asian range, right? That's always a very, very, very big important thing is identifying our Asian range. So in this case, Asian range was relatively, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What time zone am I in? Give me one sec. This was roughly our Asian range, right? So first things first is we identified the higher time frame, then we scale into the lower time frame to find an entry model. The thing is, is I know that this was the relative low down here. I know this is the relative low that created the sell to buy movement to take price higher. So in my mind, I'm correlating multiple different things. Higher time frame fib lines up with this lower time frame institutional candle, right? So we had our order block, our buy to sell candle down here, right? Perfect. Next things next is all right, out of Asia range, we're kind of channeling downwards, right? We're channeling downwards 
So most people right now who are trading this are, oh, they're selling, they're selling, they're selling. They're trying to catch another opportunity to sell. And then what we see is we see, what we'd like to see out of this is a fast move down that entices traders, right? We wanna see traders getting enticed to start selling and uh, catching these weak handed sellers, right? So what happens is we're looking for an entry to take us from these relative lows back up into a level where there's an imbalance somewhere up in here, right? So first strings first is we got the Asian range. We have the higher time frame sentiment. We know we're overall bullish, but we're trading a lower time frame thing. We have a good risk to reward trade. We don't need to go crazy, right? Price comes down and what does it do? It makes the move back up, continues the channel, very aggressive spike to the low, entices more sellers, and then we instantly flip. We flip the script and then we watch price fly and fly and fly and fly. And then eventually it takes us out in our TP with our targets. And then we go on to the next opportunity, right? Boom. So we're out. doesn't matter what happens next. The trade can go on, so on and so forth. That was the first day. So that was our Tuesday going into Wednesday, London session trade. So next thing's next. What do we do? We analyze the higher time frame. We had a measured move, right? This is something else that we teach in regards to market geometry. We had a measured move. We had this move here. This move was relatively about the same size as this move. So once we saw this move complete, what do we know next is we need some type of retracement. It goes expansion, impulsive move, pullback, retracement. That's how the market moves when it's ranging and it's trending, right? When it's creating waves, when it's consistently moving. So now what we gotta do is we gotta do the same daggum thing again, right? We're going up, 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 up. And then we start looking in the lower time frame. The 15 minute wasn't the right one. It was the five minute, right? On this time frame, what do we see? <clears throat> start focusing in on the structure. All right. Uh, low, high, low, high, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, highest highs, right? So we come up into this point, we're at this higher high, right? Let me pull this back. We're, we're, uh, we're looking at this live during our London session, right? We post every London session in our premium group chat, every recording, you can go back and watch all the recordings too, right? So uh, we're, we're trading. Now, what are we doing? We're looking for our, our key range, right? We're looking at our Asian range, right? Asian range going into London. It's one of my favorite, favorite strategies. It's my breakout strategy. Um, I'm gonna be teaching this more in depth later on in our Trade Star, Trade Star uh, services, right? Now, when it comes down to it, what do I see? I see a low that put in the high. So in the sense of the structure, if this was the last low that put in this highest high, the moment that price does whatever, it can do whatever in between these lines and it's still bullish, right? But the moment that we break below, change of direction, pull back and we can start going lower, right? So that's the model that we're using. So coming back into the charts, what do we see? We see this low right here and we see it get taken out right there. Some of you are gonna say, oh, that's not a good break of structure. Oh, that's not a good indication. Oh, whatever. For me, this went below, it's broken structure. I'm looking at a higher time frame sentiment. We're in a retracement. We had a lot of upside momentum. That upside momentum is getting clipped by sideways momentum. And then we're starting to range down. We're starting to move down very fast, right? Momentum, you can learn about it once again within our system, right? I mean, not just that, but we have a whole free community where we give out free trades too. Like the previous Euro NZD buy, we gave that out for free. So what did we do? We measured out this specific candle. This was the candle that specifically, I'm gonna use this arrow tool. I ain't never use this arrow tool. Whoa, so this was the candle, right? This candle right here, bullish candle here. This was the candle that created the move down that broke structure, right? So because we see that, what we have to do is very simple. Take the fib, high to low. We got our range. We got our institutional candle. We got everything that we need. And what we do is we take this cell, there's roughly about an eight pip stop. 
And then what we did from there is we targeted the lows of Asia, right? We targeted the lows of Asia. And the last thing we had to do is just see how it played out. So boom, it hit us in and then we wait and then boom, took us out just like that, guys. And just like that, guys, just like that, this thing went on. It actually went a lot further. I mean, uh, some of the members in the group, they held it a little bit further than where we wanted it. It went potentially one to 11. We cashed out around a one to seven. Super, super lit, super exciting. Um, but you know, this was another trade where we shared it in our community. I'll share that with you guys now, just so you guys can understand and see that and see kind of how it looks like when we're actually taking these trades uh, in live real time, right? Because most of the time we're gonna be trading these London session moves while we're on a live Zoom with our premium group. So uh, this is what it looks like. All right, so here's the idea that you get entry zone, so on and so forth. We had a overall optimal entry. This was the execution, all the, the information. This was one of the charts that I sent really quick and then what happened was as we got into the trade, it hit our optimal entries. I show you my uh, my MetaTrader, 15 lot here, 10 lot there. And then it started going in our direction. I said, boom, baby. And then little updates up 4,000 something. And then I show you the chart as well. And then you know little updates, move stops to break even, so on and so forth, and blah, 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 blah. And then on top of that, then we have all of our students' results, whether it's 4K for the day, this student, $300 this student sniper entries right that was devin marcos 2400 dollars. another 1500 dollars from d another uh sniper here mr imbalance made nine percent on en he caught it with a six pip stop so super sick another snipe uh more profits more profits more profits more results all we want to do is help people win and eat so you know when it comes down to it guys that's that's the that's the whole system right we're trying to make a community where you can come in and you can learn and you can earn, you can have a good time. And above everything else, right now in our community, what I'm experiencing is I'm experiencing students going through the unreleased course that I made, I made a whole in-depth course about the strategy that I use, the model. And now what I'm seeing is I'm seeing students in our group chat that are catching their own trades, their own ideas, the dialogue that we see in the community and the chats. We're seeing them trade New York session together, sharing their ideas, everyone catching trades. And the best thing is, is, is I do provide ideas and trades, but they're not relying on me. They're using the education and they're learning, right? So with that being said, guys, you know, really excited about the content we're making, really excited about the future for our YouTube channel and all of our brands. You know, we hope that you see some value. I would love for you to like and comment and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you liked about the setup. Let us know what you would like to see more of. Um, you know, I'd really be grateful for the feedback, but above everything else, um, you know, at the end of the day, really what we want to do is we want to make good impact on the, the community in this FX niche. I know there's a lot of BS and there's a lot of he said, she said stuff in the niche, but all we want to do is just make very transparent educational content where you can learn and you can make money with us. And we win together, we lose together, we grow together, we learn, we have lessons and above everything else, we have a great time, right? So with that being said, guys, I uh, really appreciate y'all. I uh, look forward to potentially seeing you be a part of the community. And uh, above everything else, we'll see you guys from the top because you already know bottom is way too crowded. Y'all have a blessed day.